Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a little bit different guitar review for you. Instead, an electric guitar, picking up an acoustic guitar. And this is the Xianmo Linglong from a company out of China called Xianmo. Uh, I think I'm pronouncing it right. But this is kind of one of those companies that is flown under the radar. Um, and I want you to think about them as the Shiji guitars of acoustics. And what I mean by that is a relatively inexpensive guitar, but produced at a very high quality. And I know what you're thinking. You think Chinese made guitar, you think OEM, uh, just really, really cheap parts and cheap labor, poor quality, but this is their own factory. Uh, they just make these guitars. So hopefully you can keep that in mind uh, throughout this review, knowing that they are luthiers trying to make high quality instruments. But uh, let's go ahead and talk about some of the specs. So as you can tell, this is kind of a smaller guitar. This is kind of their travel size, but they also call it their like entry into their line of guitars. But I don't think they're really skimping on any materials or anything because looking at uh, the list of materials that they use, they do have some exotic stuff, but this is kind of uh, pretty typical of what you'd see on even US high quality um, acoustic guitars. So the top is a German spruce, super resonant. Uh, finished really well, it's got a really thin uh, finish on the top. Uh, this is a Coca Bolo, uh, I don't know what they call it, um, sound hole ring. And then around it we have some abalone as well which is a really cool touch. Uh, this is an Indian Rosewood Bridge, and we have uh, bone pins and bone saddle right here. And then the sides and the back are African mahogany. Look really nice, and it's glossed on both the sides and the back. And then if, if the camera can pick this up, there's some sort of binding, it's like a flame wood binding going all the way around, which is a really nice touch. They didn't specify what that is. On the front and back, they also have this kind of white and black binding going around. So just some really cool appointments to it that make it look high quality. And in terms of finish, uh, it's nice and smooth, uh, no dings or anything, especially when it came to me, it was perfect. Uh, back of the neck, is um, matte finish or satin, but really nice and smooth. And then the front of the neck, we have uh, Indian Rosewood. And no idea what kind of frets these are. Uh, they're sitting pretty low, um, not super low, but um, not super familiar with uh, what companies are using for frets on their acoustics. But something interesting is they pre-round the frets. Um, I can definitely tell because there is no tooling marks at all. So they snip them and then they probably use some sort of Dremel uh, tool to pre-round them and then seat them into the fret slots. Um, something you're probably notice there's no uh, dots on the front 
which I kind of miss. I like that. Um, but on the side, we have some dots, some dot markers, which is still a cool touch. And then the front, we have a bone nut, which is finished really well. And uh, going through and doing a little tap test here, like I'm hearing the pinging, and which is good. That means that it's actually cut to the right height. Uh, and it's just finished really, really well. Like even the sides, you can tell uh, a guitar company is good when they spend a lot of time on the nut, especially on the sides. Like I've had guitars where it's um, not rounded over on the top and then you slide down and it's just, it's just uncomfortable. Front of the headstock is nice and glossed over. And then on the back, we have these Goto style Sanmo um, logo uh, tuners. And they're really, really smooth. Uh, that's kind of the first thing I noticed when I was tuning up the guitar. I was just kind of shocked that they use some pretty high quality um, tuners here. And they're just, yeah, just even feeling them. They're nice quality, really smooth uh, ratio. But overall, uh, this is just really, really high quality guitar. And didn't mention, but this is under $700. I think on their website, it says $698 or something, but they're on sale right now for like $500 something. But really good deal. Um, something they did want me to mention, which um, I think they do to all their guitars, is the neck can actually be offloaded, unloaded. I don't know um, the correct term, but it's this, basically it's not a set neck. So there's two bolts that go inside the body in the sound hole and you just unscrew them. And the reason for that is they wanna give you the ability to adjust the angle of the fingerboard and the neck to be able to give, or not the angle, but just how high and low it's sitting so you can adjust your action, which is kind of cool. Uh, another reason that why they did that was sometimes you get a little bit of a hump right here, just from wood contracting and expanding. But if you can tell, there's like a little gap right here and there's one on the opposite side as well. So it's just giving some room for the wood to move and not to affect the action. So. Another cool feature, I'm not gonna show you how to do that because uh, the action is kind of right where I want it. Um, it's right around like 5 64ths of an inch on at the 12th fret on the low E, around four, four and a half on the high E. So that's kind of where I like my acoustics. Uh, these are 12 to 53 uh, strings and I believe they're Sanmo uh, strings that they use too and they call them like anti-rust, but the action is great. The only thing that I've had to do was adjust the neck just a little bit. Now, talking to kind of the whole presentation of the guitar um, when I got it. So it took about a month, month and a half to arrive to me. Um, I think it was back in like late December is when I actually got it. So it was spent a lot of time on the boat. And when I opened it up, nothing was wrong with it uh tuned it up and no buzzing no nothing it was great and it came in a really nice hard shell case and you'll see pictures of that padded super nicely on the inside and some really cool case candy stuff that they give you like there's um, a headstock tuner in there there's plenty of picks there's a capo uh, there's a polishing kit a bunch of other stuff that i'll show you but just real nice presentation. Again, come back to Shiji. Um, Shiji has that uh, guitar pick holder made out of the roasted maple, probably leftover that they use. Just a nice touch. But overall, this is a great guitar. Um, I know kind of what you're saying is uh, why spend the money to have a Chinese made guitar come all the way from China because they don't. I don't believe they have any dealers around here. Uh, at least not close to me, but why would you spend all that money? But as you can hopefully hear through those sound clips, this is a very loud resonant guitar uh, that you're getting for under $600. Um, 
and it's just super high quality. I have nothing bad to say about this guitar. Uh, so check them out, Sanmo Guitars. And this is the Linglong model.